Okay. What this is is a re- review of a product I got from Chinavasion.com. You see? These are all the things that came in. There's the box, the case, the cord, the instruction sheet. There they are. Okay, what we got here is this. I don't know how well you can see this or not. It's a pair of MP3 sunglasses that I got from Chinavasion.com. They don't function. They won't go. I'm going to show you how it says in the instructions to do this. They wanted me to make this video to show them that this thing won't work. Okay, so anyway, this is the side right here. And these have been on a charger for 12 hours now. And there's three buttons. I can't hardly show them because it's a cell phone. But there's three buttons. I'm going to push the one that turns it on the middle one. It says push play for three seconds in the instructions. Okay, there's play. I'm pushing the button. Okay, that's three seconds. See, nothing. No light, no nothing. It's dark. There's supposed to be a light that comes on. It's supposed to begin playing music. It does not. I'm holding it again. I have repeated this push button thing at least a hundred times. I've charged it three or four times for many hours. Anyway, this is a defective product from Chinavasion.com. It's the second defective product I've gotten. And when you send in to try to send these things back on their money-back guarantee they tell you about money-back guarantee and they'll tell you that 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 it's a money-back guarantee and what it is there's the box the CD the weird little charger they send you the instructions I could show you that but it just take too long anyway what I'm telling you is that this thing won't light I mean it won't go it costs fifty four dollars to get it here from China and a month and what these guys want me to do is to make a video of this and then send them a copy and they'll have some experts watch me push the button to try to turn it on and not have it come on. This thing is like a day old, two days old. It's, and I've been trying to get it to go the whole time and it does nothing. It's dead. It was DOA. This thing didn't work, doesn't work. It, yeah, it's broken. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Anyway, don't buy stuff from China, Beijing. This is the worst. I mean, the worst. They sent me an email. I sent in to tell them that I had a problem with this. I was very polite, very nice about it. And what they did is they sent me an email back asking me to give them a, a make a video of the thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get this thing to come up on the cell phone where you can read this that they sent me. I don't know if you can read it or not. I'm going to put it in text along with the with the video on YouTube. And I'll put it up in text. It says that I'm not supposed to do that. But anyway, I'll read it to you. From Amber from Chinavasion.com Support Chinavasion.com Dear Lenny, I'm sorry to hear about the difficulties you've been having with this product bought from Chinavasion.com. Order number, I removed the order number for privacy. In order to further, uh, oh, wait a minute, Let me, I'm goofing up. In order to offer you further assistance, we would like a video clip or a sample video or two which would show us the issue and anything you have done to remedy this. Kindly send the video by replying to this email and cc to chinavasion.com, gmail.com. The clearer the video shows the issue, the better. Once we receive your details, your case will be briefly reviewed by our QC engineers. I guess that's quality control. If the product is confirmed to be faulty, we will promptly give you all, give you all return instructions and answer any questions you have about the process. Best regards, Amber, chinavasion.com. Satisfied? Question mark. Please give me your feedback here, uh, surveymonkey.com, blah, blah, blah. New product updates by email, all about drop shipping, blah, blah, blah. The small print, 
This email is intended for the person to whom it is addressed and or otherwise authorized personnel. This information contained in this email is it, and its attached files, including replies and forwarding copies, is confidential, the property of China Vasion Wholesale Limited, and may be legally privileged or prohibited from disclosure and unauthorized use. If you are not the intended recipient, please be advised that viewing this message on any attachments as well as copying, forwarding, printing, and disseminating any information related to this email is prohibited and that you should not take any action based on the content of this email and or its attachments. If you receive this message in air, please contact the sender and destroy all copies of this email and any attachment. Any views or opinions presented are solely those of the originator and do not necessarily represent those of China Vasion. <laughs> They're the originator. While antivirus protection tools have been employed, you should check this email and attachments for the presence of viruses. No warranties or assurances are made in relation to the safety and content of this email and attachments. China Vasion Wholesale accepts no liability for any damage caused by any virus transmitted. Boy, they got their butts covered in every possible way. The, the, the thing is, you know, I sent them a letter back telling them that they're dealing with Americans here, and this, is, and the thing doesn't work. They should just take it back. I don't want a refund. I just want one that works. You know, if they have to, they can give me my money back. But uh, sending them videos and jumping through hoops just to prove that this thing don't work just isn't worth it. I paid fifty-four dollars for it. Now I'm going to have to pay twenty-five dollars to ship it back to China, and then. Wait another month for their quality control people to decide that this is not going to turn on. So, I mean, I spent a month waiting for the thing to get here the first time and $54. Then I spend money to ship it back to them, and it doesn't work. I mean, because it doesn't work, right? So now I've got $70 into this pair of sunglasses, that, and there's no telling if they're going to send it back or what. I don't know if I'm even going to bother because it's just going to be too much money. I'll probably just go buy one from a supplier here that will actually accept returns without coming unglued about it. This is the second product I bought from China Vasion that was defective. I jumped through all the hoops on the last one and made a video and sent it to them. This video, I think, I'm going to send it to YouTube instead so everybody can see the video first. It's a video... The, this is the second product bought, the second one that arrived dead on arrival. Don't work. The other one took six weeks for me to send it back to Japan, I mean China, and, and to get the one that actually worked. They did actually redo it. They, they replaced my watch and sent back one that does work. This is just too much. This is the second one. Second one broke. This video is going up on YouTube and... Just buy stuff from somebody else. You don't need these guys. It ain't cheaper. It ain't cheaper. And and if it's from China Vasion, it's crap. Okay? I mean, that's what it is. You buy stuff from ChinaVasion.com, you get garbage. Total garbage. Right? There is no warranty. There's nothing they can... They're, they're a, a drop shipper wholesaler. And they do not stand behind their product at all. So, you know, I mean, after you jump through hoops and stuff, you might get it replaced, but it's still going to take three months, many dollars. It would be better just to start someplace else. You'd have better luck on eBay than you would with these fellas. Well, that's my problem, and let them sue me for putting up that confidential statement. This is an email I got, and it says authorized personnel. I authorize everybody to view this. So you all are our authorized personnel. How about that? And there it is. MP3 Bluetooth uh, playing sunglasses that don't play MP3s or do Bluetooth or anything. Mm -hmm. The instructions for this thing were followed to the letter over and over. And they're really bad. The instructions are really sad. They're, they're transmitted, translated from Chinese to American or English American. Okay, I'm just a hillbilly, so things come out wrong sometimes. Translated from Chinese to English. That's the little instruction book. I'd show it to you if I could. It's just, it, it, it's almost unreadable. It's a chi 
transcribed to English by a Chinese person that read a dictionary to trans, and it just doesn't work. It's really hard to read anyway. But I got the part about pushing the button for three seconds and it's supposed to start. It doesn't. I don't know what making a video and sending it to them helps except for it just makes it more of a hassle and makes it where you don't want to send stuff back or even talk to these people. I think they're pretty much content just to grab their 54 bucks and go and don't give a hoot what happens to the person that bought the thing. Like I said, this is America and the customer is always right. And I'm right because it don't work. It's unsatisfactory. I find this product unsatisfactory for whatever reason. I should be able to send it back pretty much plus the fact that it's defective. I should just be able to send it back, get my money or, an, or, an, or a similar product. But no, I have to make a video and start jumping through hoops so that their quality control people can look at my video and see if I'm actually pushing the on button. Okay, well that's it.